All right, uh, this is kind of a surprise stream. I was uh, not supposed to do any streaming until like 22nd of December, but uh, now I happen to have like a, like a little spare time and uh, an interesting project. And I thought that this would be something that you would really want to see. So I'm uh, making a kind of like a, like a very high fantasy, science fantasy, steampunkish uh, jet plane and deck plans for that. I have already the line art drawn, so this is more about like a, how to, um, uh, what, what's it like a, how to compile all, all the all the line art and uh, color it and so on. So let's get to work. <coughs> All right, so here's the basic design for the for the ship we have or jet whatever <laughs> whatever we can call this this is an interesting collaboration project that I'm working on like a very quick timeline but uh, yeah let's see how this goes. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a bit, a bit uh, rough because I, I'm recovering from a flu. I'm still having a bit, a bit hard time. So I hope you don't mind like an occasional cough. <laughs> there you have it. Okay, but yeah, let's get to work. Okay, so we're, first we want to get rid of all the uh, color variation or the, the different grades of white or like a gray. We want to have only like a like black line art, like so. Right, and then <coughs> we are gonna have this, or or use this as the like a sort of like a template or the 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 base for for the deck plan that we are working on. <coughs> and yeah, I said this is the exterior design. So this is what we are gonna use as a kind of like uh, <coughs> sorry what, what should you call it um, like the picture of the whole plane and then on top of this we're gonna add this interior part which we need to rotate a bit also so not very big plane there's gonna be the pilot seat what's happening Know. and then uh, some extra seats for passengers there's some something like a toilet or something and uh, some extra space storage whatever and then kind of like an engine slash reactor room okay so let's do the same for this one here we don't have actually that many uh, that much any any kind of like well, there's there's something. Let's start with that. So levels, and then we pick the white drop eye dropper, and then black eye dropper, and pick pick the pixels that we want to be as black. All right, and uh, <coughs> next. Channels, invert the selection, and add a couple of layers. And to this layer, we add like dark fill, all black, like so. Now we have it there. We need to do something for this. Um, 
is not final. And I don't have like too much time, so this is gonna be like a tops to our session, I'd say. Um, okay, but yeah, let's move forward. Let's get the selection back, then find a path. <coughs> This is gonna clean up the clean up the line art, and now at the layers and do the other new layer, and we're gonna do the same thing here like that. All right, <clears throat> now we can see that we have much cleaner lines here. Oh yes, looks nice, and. Let's make first the the jet thingy, <clears throat> and after that, actually, we don't need. Well, just to be sure. Oh, there's some lines that probably need to be filled. edges there. Looks better always. <laughs> okay, but we are gonna add a little background for this. So we pick this tool here. Oh, okay, so there's somewhere a hole. Where are you? Is it that one? Probably. Okay, a bit smaller. Like nine ish. Oh, what's that? Hmm? Ah, well, that explains. We had some gray color there. Okay, another try. Better, no leaks. <coughs> okay, <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna go with that. Ah. Dropping stuff here. How, how are people doing? Uh, there. Christmas is gonna be very soon. We don't actually celebrate Christmas in our family. We have our own traditions, but still you can see it all around. <coughs> People preparing, preparing for Christmas. It's always fun to watch. Sometimes a bit annoying too, like how all the Christmas ads and songs, what, what were the Christmas songs called again? <coughs> Carols. Well, yeah, maybe I'm not, I don't mean Christmas carol carols actually, but yeah, well, anyways, all kind of like Christmas themed songs. They are playing everywhere. <laughs> all right. Okay, so we got this covered here. Got the interior part cleaned enough, I think. And I'm pretty confident about that. How we want the lines to look. But let's get back here and do the same for this one. So, boom, boom, okay, we have it there, something, I want to get rid of it. There's one more part. Where was it? Somewhere here. Just 
Now all the selections are where they are supposed to be. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, click the layers. Two new layers. Let's hide the old one. Then we'll hide the fill. Hide it, make a bath. Beep up, up, it's calculating. Is it too much? What is happening? Oh, yeah, it hit the whole thing. Oh, we can see that there's like some extra dots here and there, anyways. Just didn't show it in the in the in the selection, probably the because of the resolution. <clears throat> Anyways, let's select that again, and now we have a selection made on the path, and we fill it with. And now we have a nice or crispy lines. Ooh, yeah. That is what we like. All right, but it seems that we need to fill a few gaps here and there. Oh. Oh, well. No. Let's work. Okay, so there. Actually, let's check what's the image. Yeah, 600. That's a bit of an overkill, in my opinion. We could do quite well with 300. also leaves us some room with all and this is only 200 why why no looks like the line uh, lines are okay didn't suffer that much from this little change all right okay but <clears throat> yeah let's continue with our quest of uh, quest to fill all the gaps it's fine 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 there's something there's something too and we are doing this to make it easier in the next phases to like <coughs> like uh, find the edges of the ship and color color everything with a paint pocket for example makes it much easier I'm actually uh, you can look it up on Google Daniel's maps he uh, he has done like super nice looking Star Wars was it uh, Daniel Haas and Bosch or something like that he, the, sorry Daniel if I don't remember your name correctly or pronounce it horribly but uh, yeah he has done like some really nice looking Star Wars themed starship deck plans and some time ago I like a, he, he had a tutorial somewhere online and I like checked it out and uh, learned a few nice tricks from there and I'm, I'm gonna use the a bit same 
same um, like methods or techniques what I've learned from that tutorial okie dokie yeah so that should be all right and now I want to mm -hmm. okay yeah so uh, what I want to do now is I uh -huh. I want to let's not do it yet I uh, let's clean the edge of the excess stuff first I want to make like, like for the for deck plan in the previous file I want to like separate or make, make like a background like a base color for this <coughs> which we can also use for for all kinds of stuff like uh, cl clipping masks and so on so you don't be you don't have to be so careful <coughs> when coloring everything for example and for this one I thought that I'm going to use like a very rough or quick coloring techniques a bit experimental for me actually but yeah uh, let's invert the selection and just press delete so it gets re rid everything extra we don't actually need there okay and now here's the same thing that we have like a combined the the rougher lines and on top of the on top of it the clean crispier lines you can see the slight difference there but I think it this map kind of like benefits from this like a bit rougher edges gives it more character this is what I usually do but sometimes it's uh, better to have like very clean crispy lines okie dokie so boom there selection Hit the magic wand because this map is magical. Ha, 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 ha. We have a leak. We have a leak. I need to fix it. Oh, and I know why. Why, why is that? Because I chose the wrong layer. We did the fixes only to the rougher lines. Okay. Now it's looking better. There we go. Excellent. Did I mess something up now? No, everything looks fine. Invert the selection. Let's make another layer there and add some color with paint bucket. But actually, now that we are having a some kind of like base color, and I was thinking that this could be something like a metal color and when it's steampunkish it could be something like brass or copper so we'll actually have there now we need to look look it up oh. So there we have copper as a color. There's that sort of hue. I don't know if I should. But it's not like that. It's more red, I think. More, more like that. Okay. okay that, uh, that's our base. And this one we're gonna use uh, what am I doing? Now? 
certainly. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to fill this with the foreground color. Boing. There we have it. And with the same effort, we can select that one from there. And, and, yeah, and now we just need to add some blue color there. It's a, it's a window glass. <coughs> I'm not sure if I should add. Wait a minute. That's not glass. That's lines. This is glass. Almost messed up. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, okay. Mm. Yeah, let's put it all in one nice package and steam jet interior. And now we move all this here. Pew. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, and a bit fitting. So that it all makes a bit more sense. Oopsie. Uh -huh. Ah, what am I doing? Happening. Oh, made some kind of okay. Oh. Right. I get it. All right. Let's lower the opacity a bit so we can see through this is just that so we can align align this better well the window shape doesn't exactly match but I think we gotta leave it with that <laughs> sorry <coughs> Scale it down slightly, slightly so, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I think that that's good, fine. Now, I'm thinking that maybe we should make a 10 millimeter grid here <coughs> fine, fine, fine. Yeah, ten. okay then we just need to align yeah that's actually quite good major changes or tweaks needed well some are some places are a bit 
funky. and this and we need to start grouping them <coughs> color base whole color okay boom happens next is that we group all of this something whole. That's grid. All right. And we are going to Lose the interior for a bit, and here we'll add a gradient overlay. And mod multiply light from around 120, 130 degrees. Let's put 125. Actually, one thirty five. Okay. And the purpose of this is to give like a, some kind of basic valor like color gradient there. Mm hmm. Then maybe some inner glow and something quite yellow, maybe even bluish. Like that. Make it fifty. Drop shadow. Quite good distance, bit far away. think is that okay maybe we should blur the edges a bit mm. 
button there. Okay. Not bad, I'd say. Let's hide the grid for a while. <laughs> All right, so now we have the very base color and then we need here light. And we want there. We need the same for the interior. Oops. And we copy layer style and we put it here in the walls but the shadows is something that we don't actually want maybe not at all yeah we don't want those we want something else but and we need to adjust the interior glow also just slight slight glow that's better it a bit though it seems did I forget it in the previous phase probably then Okay, a little adjusting looks better, I think. again for a bit and next we uh, will add some shadows here just quick shadows like that and then that one and one around 45 yeah that looks pretty good something like that seems that when I updated my drawing display 
drivers. It has lost all my express keys. <laughs> Except obviously something. <laughs> Why? Okay, <clears throat> but we need to do it in the old, old-fashioned way. <coughs> You're not kidding me. I've been having some trouble with my drawing pad, and it, it seems that I'm having again. Well, that's just splendid. start my Photoshop for this but yeah let's save it first covered so we can actually lose this no need to save it okay Let's see if we can if we can get the thing working. If I don't don't get it, I need to quit early and figure it out how to fix it. it might involve some stupid driver reinstalls and whatever. This is always the hazard when when um, big updates happen. First time I'm fighting with this. I'm restarting the tablet application. Hmm. Let's get some calibration stuff. That 
registers the pressure, but it doesn't show here. Why? Does it need a restart or what? <laughs> oh man. For real? Yeah, it seems that we don't have the and why? Why don't we have it? Let's see, I turned off the Windows Ink previously. Could that oh Okay, it seems that it's somehow tied to Windows Ink right now and uh, I need to deal with the funky circle animation. You'll see it in a bit, I'm sure. Okay. Let's get to work. Here we add some some shade. These are like stronger shadows. I'm gonna add like a layer of softer shadow later. a bit unusual parallax here. I really need to figure out what's wrong with the pen the pen or the drawing display. I've been I've been dreaming about getting a proper Wacom. I like a Cintiq. I hope that would have less this kind of issues. I know that Wacom has its own issues, but uh, this is really annoying. And in general, I must say that I've been really happy with this this uh, XP pen thing that I've that I have. Go. This I need to get some. The shape is getting clearer with the shadows. Okay. a thing that I needed to change. Get the, there you have the it's so 
super annoying. That's why always the first thing for me is to turn off the Windows egg. more symmetrical okay I'm back to shadow shadow thing stuff the wing mechanics That was a mistake right there. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> that looks pretty good. Then we do the same here. to remember that we are going to add a interior shadow well actually let's not do it let's do it like this yeah you can do it like this In other words, we are making the shadows here by hand. Oh yeah, my idea was that these would be like below the deck, so I will, well, I'll add, well, let's do it now. <laughs> Just need to get this much more like seven ish, nine, seven. Okay. stairs down on both sides so the doors are like actually below the wings at least that's the idea yeah. and 
this one here we are going to copy it a few times well, too much leg space we don't need that that would be just like too luxurious don't you think to have like too much leg space in a, in a plane but can we fit a third row there no we don't need we don't need one but then again I'm thinking that should these chairs be swiveled so that they are facing the center maybe not that that's like too too much military transport t and uh, for the floor we are going to Add a color over overlay. That's not actually bad. Be a bit lighter. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, now we have some kind of like shade for the interior parts, like a general shade there. And uh, I'm going to make the walls stand out a bit from the from the other parts of the plane. So I'm thinking that if I should make it lighter or darker and by darker I mean like something like this I feel that it was actually better with the lighter wall I can't explain why though Maybe the dark feels like too heavy and it doesn't really fit the plane the idea of a of a like a light plane craft aircraft thing flyer fly 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 flying thingy thingy have it like that inner glow we actually
actually want to have the color more closer to the wall color. Tweaking, tweaking, tweaking. Okay. I'm not working in the exactly the correct order maybe, but anyways, okay, back to the shadows. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Now that we made this little interlude with the line art and updated these, for example, now we can look at the shadows there where they belong. line art I was thinking that I could Please let me know if if there's a, something with the with the volume, for example. Now I want to rotate this. Easier to do. Easier to do the lines. I'm lagging. <coughs> no idea why. <coughs> A few more tricks I'm gonna do with the line art after I'm done with this. Just 
first of all, now that we have these like floor planks, sort of. I have no idea, by the way, what has been the, like. I I'd guess that in the early airplanes, it was mostly like a wood uh, or was there wood i don't know but some kind of like actually here we go change the change the orientation again yeah i wonder if there was like wood in early airplanes and to what extent it, actually to me it makes a lot of sense if there was wood there wasn't any plastics and using metal even if it was aluminum or something I don't know is aluminum 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 in the middle room <laughs> is it is it lighter than wood that is the question but here we are gonna have something different no wood here I'm rotating the canvas by pressing R and then holding the shift key like usually when making straight lines for example you can make uh, it turn in like a steps of was it like 45 degrees that's pretty convenient because I when I draw on paper with just regular pen pen uh, I, I like to rotate the paper a lot and I really like to have the same feature here here on uh, Photoshop okay let's take a few steps back and now we can see that there's already like a nice looking floor texture and now what we are gonna do is that we are gonna add here a color overlay and we are going to make the floor more like this even more light now it looks a bit funky because it's below the but actually mm -hmm. oops but we can add it always here <clears throat> and now it's below the shadow or we can add it there on the color layer all right point B okay now the line art thing so we are going to add a very, very slight one point stroke. Cuts. Oh, because it's not stroke, but it's out of glow. Sorry, almost fooled you. And then we need to find the proper.
Needs a bit tweaking. We can't have four. We need to have one or two. <coughs> now that should that should do it okay now that we have the a slight glow there the suddenly like pops out all the line art much better using two pixels only okay we'll go with that and we use the same again copy layer style and go here and paste the layer style and there we have have it this might need another pixel then what we are gonna do next is so we have now the the shadows a little line art tweaks and base colors there we have some wood textures we actually want to have a wood texture also here wood detail and okay let's hide the that one okay and now where do we need the wood detail to be <clears throat> i guess over here That one would be wooden. Oh no, I 
forgot something with the wood, wooden parts. Need to have like uh, some blank lines here, like this. So it actually looks more like this. Different lengths of planks. Okay, like that, like that. Hey, Mr. Valor. Sorry if I didn't remember, uh, notice your message right away. How are you doing? Okay. What time is it over there? It's actually getting All oh, right. Yeah, well, it's almost 4 a.m. here. <laughs> Night shift again. Well, yeah. No worries. Yeah, same here. Blending some textures. What kind of stuff? This should be. Ah, oh, okay, nice. Wood is an interesting material. Like, if you do it like really, really, really properly, there's like a nice little details that you need to be like very careful with that, like about the level of detail, because if you are trying to make all the what are those like a in English I don't know the word for the like a the kind of little lines in the wood like and if, if you're gonna make all those it very easily gets very busy looking so you need to have like the right blend of different colors and so on what do you think Yeah, that's kind of hides there, totally. Okay, that's better. Oh yeah, <coughs> <coughs> yeah. I I use uh, also uh, like a, f a photograph textures a lot. Depends a bit on 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 case. Oh thanks. Yeah, I actually like this a lot too. It uh, happens to be happens to be very in it's a very interesting design to work on and now i figured out that this actually doesn't make any sense be here because i remember like watching some doc documentary or something about the early airplanes that they had like a, all the the direction where the plating goes and the rivets and everything that they, it was very very uh well let's say that if there was the plate the the planks were not in the streamlined direction, then it would cause uh, dr drag. Okay, better. All right. Okay. 
I think we have not, not the basics covered here enough. Uh, actually not. We need to color this one before we can move on to the next step. Actually, we'll do the coloring like all the way and then at, in the end we like compile everything together. But okay, let's add some color. So here's some wooden parts. So now I'm going to do so that we'll get a somewhat like a watercolor. Tiles with the wild, that's always good. Let's make it a bit smaller. And then pick something like a, let's pick a reference from there and make it a bit darker. And now from the brush, ah, brush setting settings, let's put on the color dynamics. And we have some hue jitter is maybe too much. Four, four, six, that, that might be good. And now Let's apply the color here, but we don't want it to actually multiply because it makes things a bit too difficult. We can have the did we yeah. <coughs> We make the changes with the layer. Okay. Just apply some color there. Actually, I want this to be multiply. We lose that and instead choose to have lower opacity. Good. But should we have like other wooden parts like this one here? I'd say so. Let's just add like some color there, like that. Need to clean it up a bit, but let's worry about that later. We want some Just need to add the these loop lines here. The blank size is not maybe. Oh, I've watched uh, Alice's uh, streams occasionally. Yeah, they are fun to watch. See you later. Okay. Maybe these should be wooden too. I wish I could some day join this big, big uh, big cons like Gary Con, Comic Con. Well, I don't know how big Gary Con is, but uh, I'd assume that it's quite popular. Alright. <coughs> Next.
next we need some brass highlights. Now there we need one to have well we, we we can use the same that one. Let's just lower the flow a bit. Let's add some we'll blend in the color a bit later. Now we're just like applying the, the rough highlights. Like so. And we don't have to worry about like getting over the edges either because we are going to use the clipping mask in a bit. <coughs> okay, we are getting that like the colors there. It starts to look like something. What do you think? Looking any good? Huh? Huh? Okay. <clears throat> then we need a darker color, maybe even more reddish. some blending magic. Ah, oh, thanks, Miss J Maps. Good to have you here. I think the Twitch or Streamlabs it really needs some kind of like a notification audio, like for the headphones when someone messages something. I don't know how 
practically it is if you're like super popular and you're getting those all the time but there should be an option to have some kind of notification i don't know if there is one but i don't i haven't actually looked it up how are you doing any interesting map projects going on okay I think that looks really nasty, like in a good sense. I like it. And we can play a bit with the uh, different hues here. For example, with the wood color, I'd go something slightly darker, just to give it more contrast. And for the brass detail, let me see. Here we can, of course, like if we would want to go like it. This is really 80s. <laughs> it is so like the new, uh, the trailer for the new Wonder Woman, for example. Ah, oh, then Grayscale Street. Let's go. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, all kind of like a, like a, that kind of like a C city kind of maps. They're very interesting. I just late, lately did a small map for uh, Warhammer Fantasy Fantasy Roleplay, and uh, it was like a this alleyway winding through some parts of the city. And uh, you, you can fit so much detail there if, if you just want. It's uh, very interesting to work on. Okay. All right. And now we want these to create clipping mask, create clipping masks. All right. <coughs> oh doesn't ring a bell I don't remember any cartoon like that yeah well yeah C city maps that that's like a that's a different story they can be really fun to draw but also like very time consuming one of the first maps I, I drew, like back in 2000, early 2016, I think, was uh, like this cyberpunk fantasy version of uh, the, the, was it like, what's the name for it? The, 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 was it the hidden city of Kowloon or the walled city of Kowloon? Like in, in was it in somewhere in China? I think it's demolished nowadays, but you've probably seen pictures of it, like a like this super crowded and dense, uh, like a huge city block basically, and that was like, it was insane to draw like uh, all the antennas and every <laughs> little detail there. But I haven't actually done any proper fantasy city maps lately. I should do and sci-fi 
I would really like to do like some kind of spaceport again. I did one a while ago, or like a, quite a lot. Quite, it's 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 a it's a while back. But I really liked that, and uh, I've been ever since then. I've been thinking that I should do another one. In general, it seems that. Oh, cool. Yeah, I. In, in my Patreon, it seems that people like to see a lot of sci fi and modern maps. So that's. I'm, I'm, I'm really fine with that. And uh, it seems that it's kind of like a organically growing into that direction. So next year, I'm going to make more like sci fi and modern maps and uh, a lot of battle maps also and now that there's the new star wars coming <laughs> if if it's gonna be the same situation as with, as with the previous star wars movies there's gonna be like a like a like a serious there's like a flood of inspiration after seeing the movie I've always drawn some Star Wars maps after seeing a new Star Wars movie, so there's probably gonna be something like a early next year, I'd guess. What's your? Are you anticipating the new Star Wars movie? Or I, I, I would assume that you've seen the previous movies. But you, it, they always say that you never should make any assumptions. Oh, right. Yeah, Last Jedi, I guess, or do you mean Solo? I think Solo is the latest one. Serious series of gold. That that's the cartoon you referred to. Okay, I need to look it up or like I checked it. Trailer. Once I have a minute. Sounds really interesting too. Just something that came to my mind. I'm not like begging for compliments or anything, but <laughs> but uh, one thing that like uh, has been kept keeping me from doing streams is that I've been a bit uncertain about my English. I I use English almost well daily at work, and uh, I've used it quite a lot over the years but still there's this like a when doing a stream or something I feel that I'm not a native and kind of like a scared or aware of like a stupid grammar mistakes and that sort of stuff that I really should know already but uh, yeah so I don't I hope you don't mind if I use like a weird expression <laughs> from time to time. I don't know what 
what to do with the nose. Maybe I should just blend in that. Yeah. I'll just blend it in. Some yellow. No. No, we are talking. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've been thinking too. Like, when you start worrying about stuff too much and thinking, thinking about them too much, it easily, like, let's say that it gets in the way. Same goes with the maps, I think. Like sometimes when you like start worrying that ah can I do it like this or like uh, is it get okay am I up up for this weird map task and then or whatever it is and then when you just do it and you notice that hey it wasn't actually that hard that's my experience how things usually go. <clears throat> Say what? Yeah, that exactly. Okay, I think that's good too. That's good. All right. <coughs> Next up, I want to have some kind of a base layer there. Something gray like that. Bonk. Maybe a bit lighter. Has your mom been an artist or painter of sorts? Actually, I want to add here some kind of some kind of texture. I was just talking about like using the photograph textures and this is one thing where I use them quite often oh interesting yeah there's a lot of but often oftentimes what, what I've like what's my experience on on doing arts is that uh, like Quite often, when people do arts, they like they like to experiment on different techniques and materials and so on. Yeah. So now we are adding here a photo texture. On the background. Mm 
not sure if I'm gonna lower the transparency a bit. Then I have a I have a pattern prepared for canvas. So when we go close up, you can see that there is a canvas texture. <laughs> Small details. What did they say? Devil is in the details, right? Okay, <clears throat> back to the interior part. So now, uh, <clears throat> just for <coughs> having a better understanding of this, I'll give this an opacity of, oh, okay. These are the background, so BG. And I'm gonna have that there. Mm -hmm. Should be under, under. Oh, okay, I don't know what happened. Now, in this context, context, not sure if the light wall is, I think it needs something, but what? Ah, I think I know. More layer effects, they are, they save your ass. inner bevel and chisel heart no softening okay this might be what we were missing here Gives it a bit more like depth, I think. <coughs> oh, what then? Should we add a setting? Is it any better? I'm not sure. Not so sure about this. It's a bit experimental thing. Maybe we should just have a bit darker color here.